Hello, my name is Beth. I am a running coach and a yoga teacher, among other things. I blog at sublimelyfit.com. I'm the content creator there. I am all over social media at Sublimely Fit. And today I want to, to scope about one of my great passions, which is yoga for runners. And wanted to spend some time talking about how great yoga is for runners. So if you are a runner, you have likely read in, you know, any number of places about how great yoga is for runners, why runners should practice yoga. Um, so I just, as a running coach and a yoga teacher, wanted to go through some of those different reasons why you should strongly consider adding yoga to your training routine. So first and foremost, a lot of runners think about how yoga helps them stretch out. You think about stretching after running and yoga definitely helps you keep those muscles nice and loose. Um, tight muscles, number one, can be very painful, which is why a lot of people will foam roll afterwards and stretch just to, again, help loosen up those painful tight muscles. But also making sure that your muscles are more limber is going to help with range of motion. So when you have a more limited range of motion on one side of your body versus another, it can cause changes in your gait, which can lead to injury. And so that flexibility to some extent is important. Another great thing you're going to get from practicing yoga asana or yoga poses is building up strength. So you'll get strength in first and foremost, most importantly, um, stabilizing muscles. So there are some great yoga poses to help strengthen stabilizing muscles in the hips and glutes, which there are so, so many running injuries that stem from weak hips, weak glutes. Uh, for example, even like knee injuries, all sorts of hip injuries obviously can be caused by imbalances in strength in the hip stabilizers. And so making sure that you have strong glutes, strong hip stabilizers is going to really help reduce your risk of getting injured. I can't promise you, you won't get injured, but it's going to make you a much, much less prone to getting injured. So that's a huge, huge benefit. And then also practicing poses like balancing poses are gonna help you with stabilizing muscles in your lower legs, in your ankles, which again are going to help reduce your risk of getting injuries in the lower body, the lower, um, you know, your shins, your calves, ankles, feet, that sort of thing. Even strengthening your feet can help with issues like plantar fasciitis. And then we also wanna make sure that we strengthen our core and our upper body because that's also incredibly important for maintaining proper running form which again, proper running form is going to help you reduce your risk of getting injured because you're not holding your body wonky. And it's just going to help you to be more comfortable as you run, especially if you're a longer distance runner. Runner, At the end of your long run, your body gets more tired, but if you have a strong core, strong chest and shoulders to help keep your shoulders back, it's just gonna be more comfortable as you run. So those are things that yoga asana or yoga poses can help you with. Um, another aspect of yoga that's incredibly important, it's one of the eight limbs of yoga. It's called pranayama, which is yogic breathing. Breathing incredibly helpful for runners. So in yoga, there are some tough poses that you'll practice. Sometimes you're just working on strength, like in a lunge and your quads will start to burn. Sometimes it's a balancing pose and you need to learn to clear your mind and focus on your breath. Whatever type of yoga pose or asana um, it is you're practicing, using your breath or even just doing breath practice translates very well to your running. So you'll learn to really focus on taking in deep breaths, act, deep exhales, Working on breath control, again, when um, in strenuous situations as well as not strenuous when you're in, you know, practicing yoga. And that is going to help you. And yes, definitely, definitely. And it, your breath control is going to help you get through tough runs. One of my former clients in the Yoga for Runners online program that I lead, she was actually able to get a personal distance record after going through some of the pranayama exercises that I give those clients and give my yoga students. Um, so just, it, it really does help. It absolutely helps. And then the final tool that is a big one for yoga, or big 
one for runners or a big thing that you learn through yoga is meditation and finding a moving meditation. I know some people think meditation is a little hokey, but there is a lot of science to show that it does help mentally. And a lot of meditation and how it applies to runners is finding mental focus learning to kind of shut down the little voices in your head. I know a lot of runners, we have these little voices that when it gets tough, they say, oh, this is too hard, I wanna quit, that sort of thing. And so yoga really teaches you the mental tools that you need to quiet those little voices that say, I can't do this, I'm not capable of doing this. And it allows you to, again, kind of shut those off and dig deep and find that sort of zen, that calm at your core, where instead of listening to the voices, you just do what you need to do. You run, you, um, what do I want to say? So you just learn how to kind of tune things out mentally, mentally. And yes, just had a question about pranayama. Um, so ujjayi breath is... Uh, a very basic type of breathing that is taught in yoga often. It's like a slight constriction of the back of the throat. That's very great for runners. Um, and it's also great for your yoga practice. Just kind of helps you remember to keep breathing because you hear yourself breathing. Other, um, even a more basic technique that I like to teach runners is working on just taking deep full breaths, pulling your breath all the way down to your belly, filling the diaphragm first down and then expanding the rib cage. Um, that it teaches you to take in you know, the deepest breaths possible, getting in as much oxygen as you can. And then even playing around with some single nostril breathing too can be great for runners. Again, just focusing on taking deep full breaths. Um, you know, Even when you're just breathing through one nostril, it's gonna help strengthen your lungs, strengthen your diaphragm, that sort of thing. So breathing, incredibly important to runners. Uh, meditation, incredibly important to runners too. So lots of great reasons why, you are so welcome, uh, why runners should practice yoga. And I am happy to answer any questions you might have about yoga. If you are not following me already and you want to learn more about yoga for runners, definitely follow me. I scope about um, different um yoga poses, that sort of thing that are great for runners as well as different topics. So yoga, um, <laughs> it's most Westerners see yoga as practicing yoga poses or asanas. If you learn a little bit more about yoga, there are lots of different parts to yoga. So there are, um, observances or not, not excuse me yamas and niyamas that are part of yoga so no non-violence non-stealing sort of like a way to live your life that's part of yoga um pranayama or breathing is part of yoga um meditation and different components that are related to meditation dharana dhyana these are all sanskrit terms are also part of yoga so it's a big um what do i want to say a big overarching <laughs> lots of topics for hamstring strengthening i actually like to do um think poses that also help to strengthen the quadriceps but think about engaging the hamstrings so even in a simple lunge normally you think about working the tops of your legs but when you're in something like a lunge think about also engaging the hamstring or the back of the leg and that will help to engage that as well even something like a bridge or other poses where you're engaging the glutes you can also again really focus on trying to engage the hamstrings at the same time as you're engaging those other muscles and that will help build strength in those areas uh, do i have any other questions that anybody might have about yoga for runners Okay, I'll wait a moment while I am, just in case you popped on late, I'm going to display this one more time. I offer a free, completely free two week little challenge. If you head to this URL, um, it's a bit.ly link, it takes you to a sign up. So you just put in your email address and what I will do is every day for two weeks, I will email you a link to a short video. Most of them are two to three minutes in length and that will walk you through a different yoga pose every single day. Ones that are my favorites for runners um, that I've you know seen. I've 
been teaching yoga for two years now um, to runners and these are poses that I have found are really helpful to runners and that have been helpful to me as a runner. So again, totally free, sign up for that and I will um, be showing you different modifications with those as well if you're super tight. Um, just showing you different ways to make I'll try and put that forward. So it's just bit.ly.com slash Y4R challenge. I'm not sure if that, oh, here. Actually, it might be. I'm sorry. Let me flip this around. It might be easier to see this way. Do, do, do. Get this to focus. Can you see that now? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's fuzzy. Oh, there we go. Perfect. So head to that URL, sign up for it. Again, no risk, totally free. If you get a couple videos and you decide you hate it, you can always unsubscribe. It's just automated, automated mailing. So at any point, just scroll to the bottom of the email and you can hit unsubscribe and change your mind about it at any point. Uh, but yeah, that's my gift to you as runners to help you get jump started. You can also follow me on YouTube a lot of, flip this around, um, my YouTube name is Sublimely Fit and I am repurposing a lot of the videos I'm doing for Periscope and putting those on there. So if you've missed some of my past Periscopes, I am slowly adding more and more of those videos to my YouTube channel so you can learn more there. And then as always, head to my blog as well, sublimelyfit.com. I have an entire section that's all about yoga for runners with some great yoga poses, great resources, that sort of thing. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in this evening or again, whatever time it is where you're watching it. Um, yoga is not really a religion. So um, it did stem definitely from Hindu practices, but there are Christians who practice yoga. There are, um, you know, Jewish people of the Jewish faith who practice yoga. People are all faiths. Um, so I would not say yoga is my religion. I would say that I use yoga, um, number one, for physical fitness, but number two, um, as a way to practice mindfulness, to, um, you know, practice quieting my mind, working on being in the present moment, that sort of thing. And then, yeah, to help my running too, obviously. Uh, but anyway, I've been on here for quite <laughs> longer than I expected to. I'm going to sign off. Have an awesome, awesome day or whatever time of night it is. And you can always catch this on the replay. And again, I am, yes, I, I do practice meditation. I'm not as good at it as I should be. Um, most, a lot of what I do is just a moving meditation as I practice yoga. Uh, but have a great day wherever you're at and tune in tomorrow. I will be back with more great information. Yay!